What's going on everybody? CGA Got Game back in here. Yes, I think I'm on the CGA Got Game channel. And so far so good. You've been seeing video games on here. You've been seeing me play Madden. You've been seeing me play NCAA Football 14. You've been seeing me play NCAA 10 and a little bit of MLB The Show. And maybe a few other things, man. I'm going to still play games on this channel, but I'm also going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to have a little fun and incorporate a little bit of a mix. And today, we are doing some unboxings. You guys see the unboxings here? And we're going to unbox some things that I got recently in the mail. And I figured, you know, I have a YouTube channel. I have, you know, ability to do this. So why not unbox some of the things that I've gotten in the past couple of days? And uh, just so you can see and I can share. And potentially what I might do is I might share some of this stuff with you in an individual basis. So let's see what we got. All right. And let's see some of the things here that we got. And then let's see if we can uh, somehow share these in the video format as a way for me to just get this stuff out. Why not? All right. So let's take a look. All right. We're back. I got my knife ready to go. And the first thing we're going to do is not going to require a knife. We're going to take a look at these uh, pair of shoes that I got right here with the box right there obviously you see the brand name jordan right here the funny thing is i own quite a bit of pairs of jordans but i'm not really a sneaker guy per se i do own shoes all right and so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my shoe collection but it's not necessarily you know we're going to have jordans and we're going to have sports apparel shows shoes runners and all of that stuff uh, but it's not going to be just those type of shoes all right i like casual shoes and i'll review those shoes as well and uh, since my kids are going to sizes that are similar to my shoe, I figure I buy them a lot of shoes as well. And uh, some of the shoes that I wear, sometimes they borrow from me and they mix and match. So what I'm probably going to do is end up showcasing a lot of the shoes that we share in our little family pod of shoes. And uh, this is one of the shoes right here that I got. This is going to be an Air Jordan shoe right there. This is a shoe that I picked up. And this one is a Jordan Point Lane. It's a pretty much an Air Max bubble shoe. So it's a Air Max type shoe. And uh, I'll give you the details. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a breakdown video of this shoe. Uh, this one here I picked up actually at Foot Locker. All right, so I put this one up directly at Foot Locker. I'm an old school guy when it comes to shoes. I love to go feel the shoe. I love to go put my foot in the shoe and see what it is and uh, see how it feels. I love the excitement of going to uh, a shoe place and picking up shoes. But that is almost changing a little bit. Now you got to order your shoes online or you got to wait for them to drop and all of that stuff. That's pretty exciting too. My son's involved in that and he gets me involved in that and shoes and stuff like that. And uh, I think that's fun, but I like the old school way of going out and getting shoes and we're going to miss all of that. So that's the first thing right there. We'll actually do a shoe review of this one and a couple of other shoes that I picked up. Let's check those out. All right, next item right here is another Nike box. Another Nike box. This is another pair of shoes that I think my son ordered. But what we do is I order them in the size that I wear that is a little bit bigger. And then he's going to grow into those shoes. So what they do is when my kids borrow my shoes, they just basically wear extra socks to fit into them until they can grow into them. Hopefully they don't get bigger feet than me. Then I'm going to be stuck with a lot of these shoes. But I got these shoes right here from StockX right there and this is a nike dunk low nba 75 edition chicago take a look at this man that's pretty tight right there that's hot yeah that's hot right there so um again i love low cut shoes for my comfort and uh, not necessarily a high top shoe wear per se when i wear my outfits i like to slip into a low uh, a low cut shoe and uh, it's just easy for me to get around a little bit mobile and uh, these aren't my favorite shoes, but we're going to talk about why I like this particular pair of shoe in the shoe review that is going to be on this channel. Looking forward to that one. And uh, my son probably going to get a little bit of wear out of those as well. All right, let's move on to the next box. Let's go ahead and get this box over here. Look at that. Another pair of shoes right here. Another pair of shoes. These shoes right here, the Air Jordan Retro OG, Air Jordan 1 Retro OG. This one um, is a prototype shoe of the jordan one which i already have several versions of this one because as a kid this one was iconic in my opinion in terms of shoes so we're not going to get too specific on this one but check that bad boy out right there look at the colorway on that one as they say i don't think i'll wear this shoe a lot take a look at this shoe right here all right so it's a nice shoe it's a jordan one 
it's a little bit too high for me. It's a little bit too high for me, just to be fair. And uh, I like the colors on this one. So if I do happen to be, you know, fresh to death, as they say, I might wear something like this one. But this one's pretty cool. I think my son's going to wear this one more than me. But uh, this one will be a part of the family shoe collection, which, you know, like I said, we have a shoe pod. We have places for everybody to go grab shoes, which you can wear. And uh, since we wear several sizes and all that stuff, but they got to return them before uh, they can't just leave them in their room. They got to return them and they got to clean them off before they return them. But I like this shoe. We'll take a look at this one. All right. Very, very nice. Not too bad. We'll deal with that one. I can deal with that. Okay. Let's get on to the next box right here. This is going to require me to get the old knife out. And I'm pretty sure most of this is some of the stuff that I ordered after I went to Comic-Con. I always say Comic-Con. It was WonderCon. After I went to WonderCon in Anaheim, I will be going to Comic-Con. I'm not a very big comic book reader, although I've been always wanting to read comic books and, and collect comic books. I did collect uh, comic books when I was a kid, which I held on to all of that stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably hold on to all of that stuff uh, that I collected now that I collect now for my kids as a pseudo investment uh, type deal. And uh, because I went to WonderCon, I picked up some action figures that as you can see in the background, I love action figures from my generations of things. So I like World Wrestling Entertainment or World Wrestling Federation. I like professional wrestling. You'll see me go to some events. Uh, but this one is another one, Masters of the Universe. You can see that here. I collect these inbox and then i have a display case that i'm probably going to have at one point but this is a man at arms figure that uh, i wanted to pick up at wondercon i always have to correct that and i didn't pick it up because i knew i can get these available on amazon so these were like marked up to like 60 bucks 60 70 120 bucks and uh when this movie revelations came out i thought as a collector that you might want to get your hands on these because in some particular point these things will become uh, much of a collector item so I had to get my hands on some of those and my last motivation for that was uh, going to WonderCon let's go with the second box and see what we got here get that out of there bruh get that out of there bruh all right you got right here oh this is another Masters of so to speak in the comics this is the Masters of the Universe Revelations comic right here um, as you can see uh, they had a detail related to that so anything Masters of the Universe is stuff that i participate in i actually love masters of the universe uh, i like the artwork i like the character display definitely something from the 80s in which people were into big big muscular figures like arnold schwarzenegger and conan the barbarian terminator uh you had obviously the wrestlers hulk hogan uh, all of these big masculine figures, A-Team, Mr. T. So this was a big deal in the 80s. Obviously probably led to some body dysmorphia on our side. But um, I love those figures and representations of, of uh, action figures. This one right here looks like a Masters of the Universe. What is this? A mini comic collection. So what I'm going to assume is this is like a um, omnibus of... He-Man Masters of the Universe comics and this is probably the entire collection or it might be volume one Let's take a look at what they got in here and this is also came in the same box right here Oh, this is an omnibus right here of a Masters of the Universe right there it says I have the power on the back And this is a He-Man and the Masters of the Universe DC Omnibus all right by the power of Grey School. it says right there all right anytime you were a kid and you wanted to settle the score by the power of Grey School is what you wish you would have said all right you wish you would have pulled out the back of your hat he-man sword let's move on to the next boxes some of the stuff I order I forget I ordered <laughs> I'm like what am I ordering this one had a double box on it all right so this looks like another Masters of the Universe so this one is a character guide in a world compendium, compendium, a world compendium. Don't know what this is. I said I need to cop that for the collection, but I don't even know what it is. It's also features She-Ra, Princess of Power. All right, so I'll check this out. It's probably going to go on my bookshelf for the most part, but I'm going to check that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably feature all of this stuff on my... Um, on my channel so this is like my fun channel over here um, I'm living the free agent lifestyle I'm able to keep these things in my living room and I'm gonna tell you something don't think women or visitors don't look at this and they go man this is actually cool that you're doing stuff like this 
and I have it out here on display. I don't hide it. Uh, many women actually grow up uh, do, watching wrestling or they had older brothers that watched uh, these things like that. So they're either quite impressed. I've never had a woman run out of here and go, what the hell is this? All right, you got toys in your living room, all right? Even older women come in and say, wow, this is actually pretty cool. And they end up giving me the piece leave anyway, so. Last box. So this one, I, I didn't realize I ordered so much in terms of the Master of the Universe, but obviously, I was excited coming back from WonderCon. So I did get the rest of the the figures that I didn't have, which was, uh, this is Trap Jaw. The box is scuffed the F up, all right? So just to let you know, see, if you're a collector and you're collecting inbox, you probably don't want your package scuffed up like this, all right? I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure this is not what you want your packages to look like. And then the last one is gonna be Tila. So if you actually watch Revelations, one of the biggest things is that Tila becomes a main character. He-Man, I don't wanna give it away. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna put the spoiler alert up. Um, all right, you're gone if you haven't watched it. Uh, okay, He-Man dies in Revelations and then he becomes essentially an angel or archangel or something like that. And Tila, she was always the, the basically the princess. She was the goddess warrior. She becomes the main part of Revelations. All right, she becomes the main part of Revelations in which Tila never knew Adam and He-Man were the same person. But for some reason, she becomes the focal point. Now, whether you like that or not, I necessarily didn't like that about this particular uh, thing, but it's actually trending uh, women's topics or topics where women are going to be the actual character or the main character are all uh, pretty much where things are going to go now. And the fact that they killed off He-Man, all right, it was actually ridiculous. And they made Tila the actual person that's going to ascend to the heights, okay, more or less. All right, that's how the story went. It changed a little bit, but this Tila figure probably are hard to come by because of who it represents. So I had to get her. So anyway, check that out, man. My first unboxing video, I'm sure it could be a little bit shorter and I'm gonna work on the audio, but nonetheless, my first unboxing video went fairly well. You're probably gonna see on this channel, all right? So you know I got my other channels here. This is gonna be my fun channel, all right? So this is my channel gonna be about video games still. I'm gonna make some video games. I like doing that. We're also going to check out shoes and we're going to check out some of this stuff right here collectibles as well on this channel man hey join me subscribe to this channel and we're going to do more reviews later peace